Hey everybody, this is Mike the Zorch, and I'm going to be starting doing these vlog videos a little more often. I think it helps a little bit to talk about things, and today I'm going to talk about something that a lot, some people in uh, the live streams have spoken of before, and that's my eyes. Now you may notice I've got a lazy eye. Well, I've got a, a few problems, actually, and I was born with them. I have an astigmatism and nystagmus, and these are two different conditions. Astigmatism is your eye is supposed to be com supposed to be round. Mine's not. Mine's sort of football shaped, and that makes it hard for me to be able to be able to wear glasses properly. I tried contacts. Uh, I was with the um, Commission for the Blind in Michigan where I grew up and they tried to give me contacts and I wore them for a while but they were just so hard for me to get in. And glasses work for a while and then after that, I just start getting headaches and problems. And all glasses can really do for me is just get rid of the blurriness. And that's it. Uh, I The reason why I have lazy eye, or why one of my eyes goes crazy, is because I have two different prescriptions per eye. Two different um prescriptions per eye um one is 2200 and the other one is worse than that way worse than that and normally when you look at something with both eyes like what i'm trying to do here in your brain those two images blend together and become a sort of 3D image. They blend together. They don't for me. They, I see two separate images that sort of overlap. It, it, it's weird. I, it's weird to describe. Weird thing is, I can see 3D effects. You know, in movies, when you put on the 3D glasses, not the um, ones with the active shutters, but the regular polarized lenses. When we go to see movies, you know, on the IMAX 3D or, or real 3D in the theaters, I can see that. I could see the 3D effect when we went to see Avatar in the theaters. I can see that. I have to sit close to the screen so I can see it because I am um, nearsighted. So I have to sit close to the screen, but I could see the 3D effect. And I can see the 3D effect in VR when I use... Tigra's uh, VR headset, I can actually see the, th the 3D effect, so it's, it's weird. And But when I'm, you know, walking around, um, or when I was riding a bike, I could ride a bike. I have, you know, just, just good enough vision to be able to ride a bike without getting run over by somebody. But I can't get a driver's license. My vision's just not good enough for it. But when I could ride a bike and stuff, I had a hard time uh, judging distance because I don't have very good depth perception with my vision. Now, the other issue I have, the nystagmus, that is where my eyes wiggle. And sometimes it's really bad, and I see double... Blur I see it causes me to have blurry vision. Sometimes I have, like, double vision almost even worse than when I'm looking with both eyes um you know that ghosting effect that you see on really bad LCD screens it almost looks like that because my eyes are wiggling so much and I can't control it very well now there was um there uh, years ago there was had been an experimental treatment for it but we never went with it, but I don't know um, 
what I could do now for it. But I was born with both of these. And so you know, it's it's made it difficult for me throughout most of my life. I was bullied really badly because of my eyes most of my life. And you know, because I had to wear these really big glasses as a kid and I had these glasses that had these um, binoculars mounted on them. These were like really expensive glasses back in the day. I think these things were like $2,000. And I just got beat the crap out of me by kids because of it. And, and later, uh, whenever I wore glasses, I had bifocals. And it was after a while, I just couldn't wear them anymore. And so I just stopped wearing them because they don't help me. I was, I'll get a prescription for of glasses, and they'll work for me for a while. And then my vision will start getting progressively blurrier and blurrier and blurrier, and I'll start getting headaches. And I take it off, and then I'm fine. And I go to the eye doctor you know, they commissioned for the blind sent me to the eye doctor for more other glasses and my prescription changes. So, it was, was difficult. So, I just don't wear them anymore. And due to my vision, uh, I am legally disabled. I am what's called legally blind under the legal definition of blindness. Although I have still have some working vision under the law I'm legally blind technically I should be walking with a cane I do have one um, I do have a cane I use it whenever I have to go like um, on a trip in Greyhound, on Greyhound I don't take it on a plane but if I'm on Greyhound or whatever, I, I would like to have a folding one. But these things are so expensive because they expect state um, commissions, state, state um, commissions for the handicapped to buy these things. And so they ramp up the price on them. It's like assistive technology stuff is just so darn expensive. I mean, I grew up around people who have disabilities all my life who had a vision and other other disabilities and the software for reading text which is jaws that's like the text to speech software to get or if you're using windows that's almost a thousand dollars just text to speech software that just reads your screen i think it's almost a thousand bucks and um there's some other stuff. There was other software that was for um, Zoom, Zoom text. That thing was almost a thousand bucks. And those are like uber expensive. And then I, I start using um, Linux, start using Ubuntu. And I had, uh, at the time I had an NVIDIA graphics card when I first started using Ubuntu. And I discovered that there was a thing called Compiz, which was a compositor desktop compositor that used you know the acceleration capabilities of the card in order to improve the visuals on the desktop they had a zoom feature that works just like the zoom feature on the Mac and that stayed with Ubuntu even though they don't use uh, Compiz any I don't think they use Compiz anymore I know this laptop has an, has an Intel card in it an Intel GPU but uh, it still does the zoom exactly the same way. And Windows has a zoom. Windows 10 has a zoom that works in a similar manner as well. And so I use that fairly often. I don't use the text to speech. I don't I don't need to use that. I even ha I even use uh zoom on my phone. Um there's an accessibility feature you tap three times on the phone and zoom in because sometimes I can't read it and it's so small and I try to force myself to see it <gasps> oh excuse me I get 
massive eye strain headaches. And so, you know, people say, how do you play video games? And I go, large displays, large screens. And I also don't use um, really high resolutions either. Uh, the streaming machine that I use in the other room, that's at 1080p, and the screens are smaller than the ones I've gotten here. I've got some fairly big screens. These are actually TVs. This is a Samsung. One over there is a Sony. That was uh, that was Tigra's. That was Tigra's uh, screen. He he let me use that because he's not using it anymore. He's using Samsungs. And I've got a little Samsung, little little smart TV. It's not so smart anymore. Samsung's been slowly taking features away from this thing. I just get an Amazon stick. But um, I use large screens and lower resolutions, and the, the the screens in there is hard to see. That's part of the reason why I haven't been in there as much because we need new screens, but we they we Tigra and they plumped down almost six thousand bucks on that machine in there. It's not just for me streaming, that's for other stuff too. But they plumped down almost six thousand dollars on that thing and we were using just hand me down displays that were being used for something else. And they're not the best screens. Even he have he even he has trouble uh, seeing them and his vision is worse than mine that's due to his albinism and getting into that I was born borderline albinism just like him I my hair was completely white just like his is now but over time my hair darkened because again I have borderline albinism but I still have some of the you know um, light complexion from from it he's he's kept it he's full full on albinism mine is just um borderline because of that i have what's called a blonde fundus and there's a point in the back of the eye that light focuses on and you know due to my um astigmatism the light doesn't focus properly on this point because it's supposed to it's supposed to focus onto this point in the back of your retina. But because of that condition, it doesn't focus properly, and that's why my vision is blurry a lot. But in him and me, that point is that point is normally supposed to be dark. It's supposed to be black, so it absorbs the most light. Ours is a lighter color. His is really uh his has almost no um, pigment to it. Mine has some, but not as much. I mean, I've seen pictures of the inside of my eye, and it's pretty br it's pretty bright. His has no pigment at all, and so we are sensitive to really bright light. I can't go outside without wearing a without wearing a um, sunglasses, and I need really dark sunglasses, and those can be hard to find. Those can be hard to get because the, the special sunglasses um, can be expensive. They can be pretty expensive. So, I mean, it, 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 assistive technology stuff is just, just the pricing of it is just insane. It's just insane. You know, I'm getting older and I'm wider. I mean, I had to get some assistive stuff and it's pricey this shit is pricey and they're just gouging people who have problems just gouging them because they know the state agencies will pay it I mean I don't know but I wanted to let you know what's up with my eyes you know why I have these issues why my eyes seem to wiggle a lot why i've got the lazy eye because the eye that is you know the 
the lazy eye is the one that is the one that's not my dominant eye. That's the one that has the worst vision to it. I mean, I'm looking through it right now, and the screen in front of me where I'm looking at OBS, I mean, it's like really, blur really blurry right now. Really blurry. It's a lot blurrier than the other eye. A lot blurry. I mean, it's really blurry. When I look at it. Now, it's not so much blurry that I can't actually see what's on the screen. But it, it is noticeable. And, you know, and also I've got... Um, blind spots in my vision. I did that one test, you know, when you may not have gone through it, but if you go to an optometrist and you stand in this thing, it looks like a dome and it has a bunch of holes in it and they shine a light and you have to push a button when you shine the light. I've got a bunch of blind spots in my vision. There are places where I don't see but I don't notice them because the brain, the brain automatically blends that in. And so in spots, I don't see it. Like the microphone here. Turn my head. I see it. Don't see it. Um, see it. I see it. Uh, sort of. There and not there. I mean, it's... Yeah, right there. It's, it's, it's... I, it, I can't describe what I'm seeing. I can't describe what I'm seeing when I turn my head and I put the microphone in one of my blind spots. It's... It's hard to describe. I mean, I, I, I know it's there. But it's like I don't can't see it, and it's it's strange the way it blends in in your vision. It, it's really weird, and so I'm able to play games. Um, some games are a little harder to play depending on the graphics them if um things blend in really well a lot of a lot of the more modern stuff where the graphics get really um it's really good like um a lot of shooters more i had some trouble i had gotten titanfall 2 which was on sale on origin and I had some trouble seeing some of the enemies because they blend in so well in the background and because of the blind spots in my vision and I can only see so much detail and everything so I had a little trouble seeing them and the same thing happens in Far Cry 5 a little bit it I it helps with um playing certain games where you can have like teams of certain colors like in battlefront 2 it really works playing against the empire it's a little harder when i'm on the empire side and fighting the fighting the rebels or fighting the re or on the side of the first order and fighting the resistance they are a little harder to see on the other side, the stormtroopers, oh, they stand out like a store thumb, unless I'm on Hoth. And, um, the droids on Geonosis are a little hard to see. They're a little hard for me to see, but, um, but I still like playing them, and, you know, a long time ago, Eye Doctor said, hey, um, the games will definitely help with and eye coordination and they've helped they've helped a lot so wanted to uh get that out there what's going on uh this this sort of off the cuff 
unscripted sort of blog video format is something I think I'm going to start doing more regularly now. Um, maybe a couple of couple of week. Now, I don't have to set up the green screen in here for all of it. That bright light you're seeing back there, that's my um, Himalayan salt lamp. I've got one of those. It, it looks really bright in the screen because the room, the light's off. The only thing I've got illuminating me is a LED strip up on the wall that I've got up on the wall to illuminate me. I don't have any fancy studio lights in here, which that's another problem for me too because I can't handle that bright light. And I have to have it in my face in order to do videos in there. So... <sighs> anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'll be doing these videos more often because I think it, it does help with you know the depression and everything, and you now it it helps to actually talk about this stuff. Even though if no one's on the other end saying anything back, at least it helps. So you know if you've got problems. Don't be afraid to talk to people about it. And don't let people think that you're less of a human being because you've got some kind of disability also. You know, and also at the same time, don't let that disability be something that keeps you from doing the things that you like doing. Like, I, I like playing video games, but I'm not going to let that get in the way. It makes it hard for me to be able to work. I mean, I, I, every job I've been at, I struggled because of my vision. But I'm rambling on. I tend to do that. I've been Mike, the Zorch. Thanks for watching.